Backlash against long, long airport security lines has reached the nation's biggest metro area. Airports in New York and New Jersey joined a growing chorus of complaints about long waits and TSA staffing. Michelle Miller is at New York's LaGuardia Airport, which now threatens to replace the TSA. Michelle, good morning. Good morning. Well, anyone who flies out of LaGuardia understands the frustration. Making it to your flight on time can be hit or miss if those lines behind me are not moving. Well, the Port Authority of New York and New Jersey says it's got the solution and is threatening to hire its own passenger screening teams if the TSA doesn't take quick action. It's the irony of flying. Planes are the fastest way to travel, but wait times just to get on board keep getting longer. Airports complain that TSA staffing isn't keeping up with increased passenger traffic. The flight only took two hours, but you had to get to the airport two hours early, you know, to get through the security line, which is kind of unfortunate. Not only unfortunate, but unacceptable, according to the Port Authority of New York and New Jersey. In a letter to the Transportation Security Administration, it says the patience of the flying public has reached a breaking point. We can no longer tolerate the continuing inadequacy of TSA passenger screening services. Because the lines are so long, uh, I missed my flight, so they put me on the next flight. The Port Authority says it might implement a plan already under consideration in Atlanta and Seattle, where officials could hire outside help contracting with private security companies. We're looking at all the options, including uh, we're, we're, we're going to investigate what it, what it would take to privatize. We're looking at other airports that have privatized. The TSA says it's working to decrease passenger wait times by using canines to expedite screenings, asking Congress to approve more overtime pay, and speeding up the hiring process to bring on new officers. We're working very hard to dramatically improve our ability to move people through, training more people than we've, than we've ever trained before on a weekly basis. Uh, but the travel volumes that we're seeing are still going to make airports crowded at peak periods this summer. Even if the Port Authority does make those outside hires, they won't be in place in time for the busy summer travel season. And consider this, Nora, just over the neighboring airport, JFK, the average daily wait times between mid-March and mid-April were up by 82 percent. Whoa, that's a lot, Michelle. Thank you. I know. I fly every weekend. Yeah, the I flying see public hopes they figure that out. Because now, as you point out, even the TSA pre-check lines are long Very these days. Very long indeed.